Hello everybody, Game Mode Roboio here, and uh, I am joined by Novatos, hey. <laughs> and we are doing something special for you today, starting a new series, which is going to be a hopefully mostly unedited 100% playthrough of Wizard 101, which is probably going to take fucking ages to complete. <laughs> But it'll get completed eventually. I mean, hey, it's... <laughs> so the reason that we're playing this is... A, this is a game that me and Novatos here have been playing for a very long time. It's the reason we met each other, actually. Yes, it's the reason that we met each other in the first place. And uh, uh, so this is basically the game that created game mode. And so without further ado, I'm going to hit <laughs> new character. Ah, the spell is working. This is Merle Ambrose. Look, Gamma. He's the Professor Oak of the Wizard of the One World. Basically, <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you, you don't even know. Remember times I've seen that page? Oh my god. To save Wizard City. Oh really? <laughs> oh my god. Gamma the Owl says, oh, really? <laughs> Where? Oh, really, mate? How did that just... <laughs> see, another great thing about doing this playthrough is that we see things that we just kind of omitted in our initial play or whatever. Yeah. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Ooh, the Book of Secrets, you say. Are you going to actually take the quiz, or are you just going to pick a this class? This class? Um, holy crap, that book actually has text. <laughs> I'm not going to try and read it, it's very small. Maybe I'll look back at this video later. And um, Yeah, I might as well take the test. Which of these is most powerful? Obviously the plague. What is it night? So it's 12.30 in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> Late night recording, guys. Yeah, yeah. Basically, like, most of the recording for this game is going to be done at some absurd hour in the morning. That's the only time when... It's weird, because we're both, you know, the the earliest time zone, yet we're always up the latest. <laughs> yeah, that is really weird. <laughs> is, this, is this a bad thing? I mean, there are times when Pez is up until, like, four our time, but... So I got ice. Skip the test. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that. Fire. Oh, my vision is failing me. Are you... A boy um, or a girl? Let's beat on Skyrim. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> oh, I should probably... Oh, but wait, I do have them in my deck. Guy? Never mind. I was like, oh, I should probably put some stuff in my deck right now. Let's see, what's my hair gonna look like? I'm pretty sure that, like, freaking half the characters in Wizard City, they just made using this character creation engine. Huh. Most of them, actually, probably. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Now, what do you wear? Um... Ah, uh, yes. The, oh. the early days of <laughs> pissing off everyone by choosing uh original robe colors from a different school than what you were. <laughs> I hate seeing that in PvP. Like, I'll be going up against a like a fire mage and they'll have ice clothes on. So I'll be like, oh okay. And I'll put ice shields into my tre into my the treasure card part oh, of my deck. Sense. And then there'll be fire. <laughs> and I just won't know what to do. Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh my god, Liam. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, by the way. <laughs> Good, thank you. Uh, no, my, um, what is my name? I don't remember what I mean, my name. 
<laughs> it might be um, Talon Soul Wielder. I very much like this name. There we go, Lucas Moonheart. Um, being Moonheart is kind of my thing, just to get this out of the way. We're going to spend so much time in Grizzleheim, and I'm going to have to go out and buy, like, 20 bucks worth of crowns to, only get, to get through the first half of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I only have up to Starboard Pass right now. Well, it'll all be worth it. Part. Oh, yeah, totally. <clears throat> I'll have money incoming within, the like, three weeks, so... We'll oh, well, that's it. good. That'll be great. We might need to, like, omit it for a while, but... Yeah, it'll be great. Hello. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're great. <laughs> we're, we're probably gonna <laughs> wait a while to go to Grizzleheim. Oh, probably. Oh my god, this tutorial. Alright. Oh, Nostalgia. Paul, you may not have um, four pips right now. We're gonna give you four pips, and you're gonna use a four pip spell. I think that was how it went. So yeah, you walk around with arrow keys. You press X to interact. And I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. Dueling. To become a master wizard. Another thing I just realized is how completely stupid Celestia is gonna be. Because it's nothing but collection quests, and the collection quests are hard as uh... heavy editing. Yeah, that, that oh. part's gonna be very <laughs> heavily. Also, fun fact, this used to be the only point in the game where there was a rain texture. Where are the other ones? In like, this, I know in the storm house. Yeah, I think in the newer ones it's like the storm house. I don't know if there are any ones in the... I say used to be, because I'm pretty sure that there there's probably one or two in Azteca, but I haven't been there yet. That makes sense. I might have to go onto my storm character and like farm up a bunch of gold so that he can get a house on this character, just to have a house. <laughs> mm. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I probably get like one of the lower level houses too. I like the the large Marleybone one. Cherish the voice of Malister for now, because this is the only time we're going to be hearing it for quite a while. Oh yes. <laughs> When's the next time we hear it? Like, the end of Dragon's Fire. I was gonna say Darley Bone, and I'm like, what? <laughs> That's not a place. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> do you hear it in Marley Bone? No, oh. I, I said Darley Bone. I meant to say Dragon's Fire. Oh, Dragon's <laughs> But <laughs> Marley Bone was what was coming out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, so Darley Bone. Hello, my Darley Bone. 14th Hello, my world confirmed. Darley 14th bone. world. <laughs> Darley Bone. <laughs> Chrysalis Part 3, Darley Bone. <laughs> they just start Darley, meshing the second boating. Like, that becomes the new plotline that the worlds start meshing together. Actually, that would be pretty cool. And the third boss is just, like, the third main boss is just kind of like, all the worlds should become one, and, like, throws Mushu with Krokotopia, Wizard City, into Celestia. That would... That'd be interesting. I might write a fanfiction about that and like post it in the descriptions of one of these videos, just for fun. <laughs> just when <laughs> Raboyo isn't looking, like, change his description to a fanfiction. He's like, oh, God damn it! Oh my God! <laughs> change his description to a fanfiction. <laughs> change the description to a fanfiction. Uh, <laughs> Liam looked at Lucas seductively. <laughs> oh my God. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll I be saw that mercy. video you posted on game mode, Liam said. <laughs> what was that about? We're under attack. Oh my Shh, Shroyo Shroyo said, trying to raise a finger to his lip. Forgotten. But alas Luca, er, Liam was not well, there. Well. It was really just old spice. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 Powerful auto blocking power. Oh, I've just been jumping. Much. I've just been jumping around the unicorn way gate for like the past twenty minutes. Not yeah, 20 minutes. I'm, I'm showing the friendly people the tutorial. The friendly people. 
The friendly people, the unfriendly people, and then the other people who just really don't fit into any category. Yeah. I like the idea of starting a long-term project like this, actually. Aha! You doddering fool! Yeah. It'll be a, it'll be a ride. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, oh no, you're in trouble. Spell, oh no, <laughs> you must use the meteor spell against a fire type. No, right? the, uni or. the unicorn spell and their ice. Oh, their ice? That would make sense actually. <laughs> but they're draconians. Like, how are they? What? <laughs> the one thing that surprised me about Dragon Spire was that like everything in the first few areas of it are ice type. Are they really? I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah, there's I, a lot I don't remember outside I didn't of understand. <laughs> I soloed, like, most of Dragonspire. Mm -hmm. I think when I stopped soloing was, like... Was, like... The Labyrinth. That's the first thing I didn't solo. I soloed the Labyrinth. No, I didn't solo the Labyrinth. I don't think anyone soloed the Labyrinth. Un unless they're, like, one of the level 80s of today. Take some more pips. I soloed most of Celestia up until like the Trial of Spheres, I think. Yeah. Not Trial of Spheres, the um. No, the Trial of Spheres. Quickly now. So by most you mean all of it except for the final dungeon. Yeah, and I think there was like one or two boss fights that I needed help with. But I I did a lot by just kind of porting back in. I actually did do a lot of Celestia solo. Most of it, though, was that um, the first few areas had some dra dragon type. The first few areas had some <laughs> fire type enemies. Yeah. That's, that's the nice I thing about. You. Yeah, that's the nice thing about um, you taking an elemental class and me taking a spirit class is that we're gonna be able to kind of outmatch each other's um weaknesses. Mm. What secondary class are you gonna take? Um. It will increase your next spell's power. Uh, it depends what secondary class you're going to take. Yeah. I'm heavily considering taking ice. Okay, I'll probably end up taking life. Okay. That's what my main is, fire life. Well, my main is fire life lunar, but that's beside the point. Yeah. Well, we're not getting into lunar magic yet. No, that'll be a while. I'll probably yeah. end up taking sun, because I just can't stand star spells, and <coughs> there comes a point when you realize that moon spells just really aren't as useful as you want them to be. I don't know, I think they're pretty useful sometimes. But oh, yeah, I, no, they're definitely times, but like, there's, a, there's a time and a place for everything. This one learns fast. There's a time and a place for mucking around. Can play that game? I haven't actually seen I that video. It. Use this with a balance blade spin. Mm. Oh, and this is something that you'll see a lot from fire, which is attack on everything spells. Yep, and damage over time. Yeah, and damage over time. Actually, I'll just, while you're doing the tutorial, run through, I guess, that... So you have the seven main classes. Fire is damage over time, and the like, damage to everything spells. So spread like wildfire, you know? Mm. Um, ice is mainly defense, like, you know, frozen fortification, kind of... Defense and taunting. Oh yeah, and taunting, because they're, they are the tanks of the, of the world. Then you have Storm, release your inner thunder massive damage but the essential glass cannon they yeah. can't they can't stand up to a couple of hits but they can one shot very easily just kind of get get like a feint and a storm blade up and you're golden um balance is you look a bit the worst mostly per pip i think they're, they're the most per pip right they're like Easy. The they're shields. Side. They get a lot of shields. They can do a lot of. Defeating I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what balance does. I just know that their main spell is um, judgment, and it's really annoying to play against. Life is healing, and that's about it. Yeah. Death is. <clears throat> death is. Life is life. healing and boost healing. <laughs> Yeah, life is healing and boost healing. Death is uh, uh, sacrifice and life steal. Sacrifice and life steal, yeah, but and then myth is about summoning. You don't know how to speak. Mostly. And um Pardon. leveling the playing. Sorry, my headset's gone patchy. 
That's good. For me, anyway. Let me teach you how to use menu chat. <laughs> oh, hey, he's teaching me how to use menu chat. Oh, this is menu chat. This is for people who are really young or don't have their parents' permission. Or both. Or both. Now you can chat with anyone. Oh my god, I found another Talon. Talon Dawnbreaker. Hi, Talon Dawnbreaker. You don't know me, but we're gonna be married. Oh. <laughs> Sit down on your lap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can also hit enter and type your own messages using text. Um, yep, there we go. Text chat, but players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spell book and a wand. Hey, no, mom! No young wizard should ever. Can I, can I talk to random strangers on the internet? Sure, Timmy. Mm. <laughs> Whatever you want. I should say, young wizard. I have the habit of calling whatever, um, whenever we make little people jokes, I call them either Timmy or Jimmy, or Tommy. Like, one of those three. <laughs> little Timmy, don't go into the tower, no! I want to become a headmaster. That'd be interesting. I just remember he said in the he says in the tutorial, maybe one day you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster. End of fourth story arc confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I remember I had this friend like two and a half years ago who used to like feed me complete bullshit lies about this game. Oh. So we were talking about like all these secret dungeons that he found. And like he told me that at the end of the friggin' quest line there was this thing where you like went back in time and rewatched some bits of your progress from the beginning of the game and <laughs> then you got to be like a school teacher <laughs> and it was a whole bunch of crap like that and I actually believed like at least half of what he told me interesting Welcome to of course wizard it was never city, true young wizard. also you instead of your name they always you say young head. wizard which yeah. that annoyed the crap out of me. Must be dealt with before it makes a lot of sense to me, but I've an idea. Perhaps uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. I didn't realize that tutorial you actually took more than five minutes. That that's one episode tutorial done. <laughs> deliver this letter. I don't know how long we're gonna make these episodes. <coughs> yeah, neither do I. We're just gonna record a in batch, and I'll figure that out later. 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 <laughs> uh, Jaeger. Ha ha ha. We need to do some sort of like a, a crappy dub of songs at some yes. point. Oh hey, so I am a fish. Gosh dang it. I don't want to hear about tutorial tips. Holy crap. Oh, did you like just get out of the headmaster's yeah, house? Yeah, seven so? different pop-ups. Oh my god. Alright, so um, I'm going to give you my true friend code. Okay. So, at level 3, you can start crafting. At level 5, you can get yeah. a pet. Right. At level 10, you enter play for 12, gardening, 15, castle. Okay. Just you ready? Just missing tool tips. Um, give me a second. Uh, la 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 la. F enter a friend finder or uh, no never friend. mind create an end okay no, not create uh, you just want to enter a true friend uh, true friend code yeah I know I'm there okay 9 F 8 S S G 0 9 it might not be a 0 though. it might be an O but I don't actually know. Uh, Talon soul wielder yep that would be me Yep, I am now true friends with you. Alright, so teleport to me and then we can get this sucker going. <laughs> I'm already at Private Stilson. Thank you for not calling your character Liam. <laughs> not a problem. None shall pass. I was really tempted to make my character None female though, because I do that a lot. But I'm like, you know what, let's make this the one thing that I'm actually my... Both. You shall not pass. <laughs> well, let's make this the one playthrough that I'm my biological and my like emotion. 
what do you call that? Your emotional, your preferred gender? Oh, preferred gender. Show this to Private Connolly. Let's go with that. Your your actual gender? Yeah, let's go with that. You That's know, awesome. cause you're a guy. Yeah. At least I think you are. Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Plot the twist pizza. Time. The pizza was aggressive all along. <laughs> so I think for the structure of this, let me talk to this ah, man. A letter from the headmaster. A letter from the you're headmaster. Very brave to bring this to me. If you know what I mean. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. Meryl Ambrose. Remember that you can bring the map like by pressing the M key. Or clicking on the map icon Beware. when you spell. Your arrival is a blessing. We need help Level fending up. off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark Ready to fight some lost souls. We don't have to stop them. Just we listening to text. If you would use All right. Powers and chase lost I think you should be doing that. Sure. I'm gonna go pick up some Mistwood while you... That way I'll have all the graphing stuff ready. One thing you will notice in this game is that the voice acting is actually really good. Alright, let's do this. That's one thing that you will very quickly notice. So I'm just walking over to uh, where they are. And so you basically, people have just had the dueling system explained to them through use of the tutorial, but we will get around to further explaining it, I suppose. When uh when more intricacies come up, we'll bring them up. But um, as for now, oh sweet, I should bring my umbra blade over from my level twenty. Because mm. I was making a level twenty, but it was kind of difficult <laughs> to play as. Yeah. I also love how these lost souls don't have any resistances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the that one is funny. Thing that doesn't have a resistance to anything. Well, it's a lot of the earlier enemies, though. Don't really. Or are these literally like the only people? Are they? And these are the only ones because dark fairies have resistance to death. I think. Huh. Well, or else it might know? just be unicorn way. It's one or the other. <laughs> I have a feeling that a lot of death wizards would get really pissed off if <laughs> that was how it worked. Oh, also, second spoiler alert, this is, um, my, possibly my favorite game ever. <laughs> so I may start to fangirl at certain moments. Two of three things defeated. Yeah, alright. Ready? I'm gonna fight this one. Probably gonna, yep. You're gonna fight that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I'll take that one. <laughs> I'll take that one, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if I kill one because the other one's just gonna will and you want more to kill. Yeah. I'm gonna kill this one. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> wreck it with a fire cat. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> let's make a I mean. let's let's try and remember for right now to fill our decks with nothing but dark fairies and fire cats for the Malastar, for the first Malastar fight. <clears throat> oh my God. Waste all that time just to do that. <laughs> we need to do something funny like that, like make sure the last spell that kills Malastar is, a fire cat. is it like a fire cat. <laughs> just like a really hyped up fire cat. <laughs> no, it's just a base fire cat, no stat boosts. Jeez. You know how much math that would be? To make sure that would work. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That's turn the tide for us. We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If you want to do the math for that, be my guest. I don't think I'm gonna want to do the math for that ever. Okay, we can do a hyped up thing. <laughs> hype. Actually... Firecat hype. Talk to this fucker. Greetings. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> He's just like, greetings! <laughs> you may have just insulted me, but you know what? I really don't care. I just got six health from that health. But... Oh, right, you're not following me because you're listening to the chat. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always forget that I can, like, hit done on the last thing and it won't. Anyway. 
Uh, Salo? Yeah? Something strange has happened to your character model. What? You're gonna... You're gonna see this in the video, and you're going to be unsure of what's going on, but, like, just hold still for a second. <laughs> what the hell? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gonna look even better when you see the video. Alright. Try like jumping or something. I'm a jumping. Yeah, your character model is bugged. Oh, fun. Of course, when we actually decide to like record Wizard 101, that's when it breaks. Uh, well, you know, maybe it'll be up. Like, maybe at some point when we go into an area, it'll be fixed or something. Riot chest. I'm gonna steal most of these. <laughs> you abandoned me. I abandoned you for money. <laughs> Reckless abandonment. <laughs> this this better get fixed when you when you enter the battle step. Battle phase. I don't even <laughs> I don't think I want to know what I look like. <laughs> Oh my god. Now, do you play full screen or no? No. <laughs> I probably should. Just I, I used to, but it's just easier for recording. Okay. Oh, I wanted to kill you with your own brethren. <laughs> Alright, I'll finish off Dagger. You can start hacking away at key. Yeah. It hasn't fixed itself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> of course, we try to actually like record it and give it a good reputation like, like, on the like, internet. Like, <laughs> how bad is it? <laughs> you know, like that moment after you jump when you're like buckled on the ground. No. You, s or maybe it's like when you like go down to start a jump and you're like all crouched down. Okay, so I'm just crouched down. It's not like my you face is twice the size it should be. No. <laughs> no. That's what I was imagining. I'm like, what? <laughs> but that would be funny. Like, what's he doing? <laughs> that would be television. Oh, these are life, not death. I thought they were life. Yeah, they are. Or I life. thought they were death. I, uh, I didn't think they were life. There's like a mini boss called the Queen Fairy, which is death. Oh, that would make sense. Kill yourself with your own breath, Brendan. Which actually. <laughs> that's deep, man. <laughs> Three deep, five me. Which actually, you, I don't think you ever need to, like, kill the Queen Fairy. Yeah, I don't think you do quest. either. I don't remember that being a quest. Which is weird, because maybe. you would think that maybe it's like some it's like, maybe like, in Chrysalis Part <laughs> Two, <they'll... laughs> maybe it's some kind of like unimplemented mechanic where there were just going to be mini bosses scattered around the streets. Well, I mean, they did that later well, on in Celestia in dungeons. I mean, in dungeons doesn't count as much, but in dungeons and in, in Celestia, they made the bosses in the streets. So I think what's going to happen is that um for each separate street we're going to do the main story quests Unicorn and then after that we'll do the side quests fairies? separately to kind of they clean up just as I feared. You couldn't even change them back by defeating Sound them? Good? Oh, that's really bad. I put my novice robes on. See, now, I'm, now I look my weird. Always tell me I never leave well Cause now I'm not home. like... But this time, now I don't look like death anymore. Now I look like half ice balance or something. I oh, I think you're fixed now. Do you know oh, maybe yeah, Becerra? probably because she might understand what happened to the fairy. Speak with her in the head. Yeah, I'd be before I jumped because you don't ever buckle down after you fall back. <coughs> All right, let's go with Lady wow. Oriole. There must be like a three or four frame window where you're crap. Possibly. You cut out for me. That was an unfortunate headset. There must be like a three or four frame window when you when you're crouched on the ground in the jump animation, and it just decided to freeze your model there for me. Yeah, it's at the beginning before you jump. Also, to anyone who's curious, sorry if my headset randomly decides to cut out, because uh, I am using a wireless headset, the Logitech G930, for anyone who's interested. It is quite nice. It's very comfortable. I would recommend it 10 out of 10. <coughs> My headset is not for the faint of heart. My headset generally likes to construct your skull, but you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Yes, it's Logitech. 
<laughs> and it's a USB.